juice box. Junkie juice box. Uh. Mother lover, you gon' love this. Graduated from a rebel to a revolutionary in my area, they love this. I'm a wreck it like I'm revving the engine. Heaven's ascension, every dimension. Give me attention. Look at my soul, look at my heart, look at my hope. Got the world on my back, but I carry it though. Tell them God got my hand, I ain't letting it go. I, I, I came from the side of the ocean. Oh. Yeah, it's the Miggity Mac, milk in the mic, I don't think I'm giving it back Living unlimited, witness, that's a limited fact, I'm mass at this, ain't no coming after this Resurrected from the dead like Lazarus, oh. I just gotta go off on it, I just know to put the sauce on it I don't care about the cost on it, I just gotta get lost on it I'm just trying to break loose, I'm about to let the fuse I just need me a cup, I'ma pour me the juice <laughs> I got the juice now. I got the juice now. I got the juice now. I got the juice. Uh, I got the juice now. I got the juice now. I got the juice now. I got the juice. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome it. Let me take a moment and introduce you to some better men, a better man like Letterman, but still next wave. Never see me off air 'cause you know my best days are ahead of me. The editing and pedigree is all in one. Rip every single head off, but it's all in front. The competition don't exist. We don't follow them. They follow us, hoping they get a glance. Me. See, I got the juice, I got the crackers, I got the wine, but they got it backwards. Whoever thought that religion could be this good, but don't turn all of us rappers to pastors. Communion, the union of dopeness is plastered all over the wall, and they ain't even ask us. My God is the Father, you know we came after the gangsters, the orphans, and all of us bastards. Welcome back to another episode of Summer Shredding. This feels quite close and intimate. We are 39 days out from the end of Summer Shredding, so it is time to put in some work. For me, I am a bit off the pace, so we'll, um, we'll get there. And in terms of yesterday I talked about, or yesterday in my last video I talked about whether cutting Summer Shredding short was a good idea to try and make sure I have a, the most out of my off season. Do you know what? I'm not gonna do that. I've worked hard to this point. I'm gonna work hard for the next 39 days. I'm gonna have one, maybe two days fully off tracking, off my diet, eating all the foods that I've craved um, and I'm starting to crave at the end of my diet. We'll then get back on the wagon. We'll stay in a deficit because I wanna stay lean for the summer. Um, we have just picked up a my protein order. So, my protein, like I say guys, always go to my protein for myself. So I think it's such a good brand, well tested. Uh, really, really affordable, and at the minute it's 40% off because of it. it's their birthday. So, we've gone two and a half kilos of coffee caramel just because I didn't need any, but while this offer was on, I thought I'd get that. That is currently my favorite flavor, it's so decent. And we've picked up three different types of protein bar. Okay, so we've picked up the carb crushers. Let's go first. These are the nut ca caramel nut. These for me are one of my favorite uh, bars, especially while dieting, super low calorie. Let's run you through the macros. So per bar, that's 60 grams. That's 8.2 fat, uh, 12 carb, and 21 protein. So very, very decent macros. Total calories, 212. So a little bit lower than your sort of grenade bars. Um, high protein, lower carb. Protein light bar, never had one of these, and this is in an almond vanilla flavor. So at some point during this video, I will probably have one and let you know what I think. Per bar, which is 65 grams, so a little bit more. 216 cal, so slightly more. 8.7 fat, uh, 3.1 carbs, and 19.5 uh, protein. Now you're thinking, how are we getting there? 3.1 carb, all right? That's because these have got 20 four grams of fiber in, so that's where the calories come up. Okay, so really high fiber. All right, but obviously in terms of carbs, it's down, and then the calories are about similar to these. The final one is lean bars, which was a recommendation from a client, actually. This only got 18 grams of protein per bar. Per bar is 45, so a little bit smaller. 4.6 fat, 11 carbs, and 18 protein. So this is a slightly smaller one if you've got to fit something smaller in for the end of the uh, end of the day and that's in a chocolate cookie dough. Uh, I will try and try those out through the, the video and uh, let you know what I think. So, so sit back, relax, enjoy it. I'll see you in a bit. Ain't sure no, but it's alright. 
and you're showing off, but it's alright, it's a short life. I was just trying to edit this video up until this point, but the gym files were having none of it. So you might have seen some push footage earlier, you might not have. We're going for this first, fits into the macros today. Uh, the lean protein bar, 18 grams protein, like I said earlier, four fat and 11 carb. Cookies and cream, no that's a lie. Chocolate and cookie dough, sounds even better. A little bit melted, mmm. That's solid. I am a fan. There you go then. I'm also getting a phone call. Yeah, I'm a fan. Hello there. It is a cracker of a day again. We've been blessed. Today's a rest day, so there's not much footage to be filmed. So I thought I'd talk to you quickly about cardio. So I am currently getting in four to five sessions of cardio a week. So probably... My goal is five sessions a week. We've gone away from a calorie goal and sticking to a time goal. Personally, I find that easier. If I set a time on the treadmill or the Stairmaster and then it just goes until it stops, I know well, rather than watching the calories sort of counting down. So we're looking at 35 minutes of cardio five times a week, and that's what I've been aiming for. If I'm on the Stairmaster, I'm getting slightly more calories burned. So I try aim to do a minimum of three on the Stairmaster, two on the treadmill, including rest days. So we done. We actually done 45 minutes today because I had a gap in personal training. But that's the current cardio goal. So we've gone up from doing 500 calories a week, two sessions, and now we're aiming. Now we're probably burning near on 2,000 calories on the uh, over the course of the five sessions. So that's all good. But I had a future fit for a meeting. Haven't been here for a while. I need to do a quick meeting with them, and then I'm at work all evening. Decent meeting with Future Fit. I don't really talk to a future, uh, talk about Future Fit much on here, really. But basically, I've been working with Future Fit for a really long time. My brother works with Future Fit. They are a the leading training provider for personal training courses, Pilates, and all that sort of thing. Uh, and I've been working with them, trying to help their socials and improve their socials, um, and also trying to get a younger audience into Future Fit because they're really good at targeting sort of the older older generation. But they're trying to inf I'm trying to influence the younger generation. So. If you ever have any questions about personal training or qualification or are interested in changing your career and trying to learn personal training, get me down below. FutureFit is actually always linked below as well, but message me or whatever and I can talk you through the process of signing up with FutureFit and stuff like that. Like I say, the leading training provider, they're nailing it. That's my sales pitch for you guys today. It's so hot in here. Like, work I go, work, work, work. Also, side note, this upbeat drink 12 grams protein 50 odd calories very decent we are having the summer lemon flavor just say it's like a fountain lemon that's flat not bad up beat i like it that is a new low way in which we are happy with like i said yesterday we've been on the lower carb days uh running up to the weekend because we're potentially going to South Central Festival, one of my clients runs it and has got us tickets. So we're planning on going to that, having a few drinks and having a good time. So we're accumulating lower carbs throughout the week to make up for it. Isn't that right, doggo? So that's rest day as well, so that's good. Feeling all right, feeling like we're getting there slowly, 37 days out. Uh, leg day today, I'm gonna actually show you a little bit of that. Okay, let me just add, obviously we hit that new low weigh-in this morning, and, and weighing timing is important. This morning I didn't have to start work till 10, so I weighed myself at about 8.30, hence why I hit a new low. Apart from that, on a daily basis, I weighed myself about 5 a.m., so the weight drop seemed quite drastic this morning, but if I was weighing myself at 9 or 8.39 every day, it would have regulated out, so pay attention to the times you're weighing yourself. Uh, we are currently about to break the fast with a carb crusher bar, which is the one that I talked about earlier in the video. Let's give you a little carb crusher review. But first, I need to do another clip for Instagram because I'm going to do a full day of eating on my Instagram. Okay, picture taken for Instagram. Let's do this. I know this is a decent bar, but I'm going to do it for you guys anyway. 
So I have milk chocolate, little digestive bites on top, with look, chocolate and protein. I love this bar, I don't know what. I couldn't tell you what it reminds me of. It's just these. Back at the bar, or at this bar to start this video. Next video will be at a different bar. We've got one ten on there. Like I said, I haven't squatted for a few weeks. And when I'm squatting, to be honest, anything more than five on squats, I am shit, count me out. So we're just gonna go with three to five reps, three to five rounds with 110, we'll see how that plays out, and then we're gonna go slightly higher volume, still keeping it heavy when we get the leg press. This is me at the minute, guys. I've run out in there, I feel like an absolute peasant. So the phone has to be at the other, room, other end of the room, where we get one bar of internet, and we can uh, still play some tunes. We've got a nice groovy playlist on from Mixcloud. Let's get set one underway, I'll show you set one, and then we'll show you leg press. Just remember, guys, when you're squatting, you cannot fear the squat. You have to let the squat fit you. The robots, yeah? Where's it gone? You written them right, left, centre, all over the park when that was there. I know what's happened. You've started to fear the robot. <laughs> You've got to let the robot fear you. I just gotta get lost on it. I'm just trying to bring loose. I'm about to let the fuse. I just need me a cup. I'ma pour me the juice. <laughs> I got the juice now. 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 Hex also just follow me. Mum, I made it. That's sick. Also, so sorry that most of this video is me sat in the car. Um, but yeah, uh, leg finish, leg session wrapped up. Five exercises. You saw squats, leg press, leg extension, uh, walking lunges. The women finish with leg extension and hammy curl superset. And then 35 minutes of cardio. I am now starving. It is almost two, and I've only had 300 calories. Let's go eat. I'm gonna round up this video on a coffee run in between work. I have had great difficulty editing this video, so if it makes it out, happy fucking days. Make sure you give the video a like because my final fight is really paying up. Uh, next video will be summer session. We'll have a little drink in addition. And we'll, work. we'll do another video about how we're getting around it. Like I say, I've been on the low calories, the lower carbs specifically for the last few days. So if you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Smash the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.